This is ATG Entertainment Weekly. I am Jessica Kiko. I am Zach Haiku. I am Catherine Llewellyn. Our top stories. Kenji Agata and Tia Rungray present Life is the Corridor exhibition. Bay City's Mole Day celebrates Mole's contributions with music and community. Namera Episode 2, Magic, Adventure, and Secrets in the Second Life Realm. Welcome to ATG Entertainment Weekly for an exciting overview of Second Life's entertainment scene in the fifth week of 2024. Dive with us into the latest thrilling concerts, cutting-edge productions, and captivating art exhibits in this extraordinary virtual universe. In an enthralling metaverse experience, digital artist Kenji Agata and electronic acoustic music project Tia Rungray unveil their collaborative exhibition, Life is the Corridor, in the virtual cultural complex Spiralo on Second Life. Agata, inspired by Rungray's sound piece of the same name, crafts a visual journey through a corridor that metaphorically represents life's manifold paths. Meshing photography with digital manipulation to challenge the boundaries between reality and imagination. The exhibition features work like Agata's landscape series. It's a multi-sexual exploration set against the backdrop of Rungray's noise classic compositions, inviting virtual visitors to ponder the existential parallels of corridors in life. Open until March 31st, 2024, this virtual showcase promises to be a confluence of art and music, echoing tranquility and chaos reminiscent of life itself. The revered Yasaka Jinja invites everyone to celebrate the Lunar New Year with a unique cultural experience on Saturday, February 3rd. At 6 a.m. Second Life Time and again at 6 p.m. Second Life Time, the Geiko and Maiko of Miyagawacho Anamachi will grace the first performance of 2024 with rare traditional dances. Attendees will also partake in the Setsuban traditional tradition of collecting tossed small bags of beans, symbolizing good fortune. As per custom, participants are reminded to eat one bean for each year of their age to bring luck for the coming year. This event promises to be a blend of vibrant cultural celebration and festive tradition. Prepare for a thrilling Saturday adventure with Grid Drive's weekend getaway. Set off from the Get the Freight Out hub at DeCampion's headquarters too, choosing a departure that fits your day, 11.30 a.m. for the early birds or midnight for the night owls. With the navigation HUD, you'll glide through the stunning terrains of Nautilus Corsica and the Blake Sea regions protected by the Canary Project, ensuring an exhilarating exp- escapade. Don't miss out on this enthralling experience. It's one for the books. Bay City prepares for its annual Mole Day celebration, set for February 4th, in honor of the Linden Department of Public Works moles. These Integral creators, known for crafting Second Life's infrastructure, will be celebrating at Bay City Fairgrounds in North Channel. Kicking off at 11 a.m. SLT with tunes from DJ Ghostbeat in a live performance by Evie Blackstar at noon. The event underscores community appreciation for the most contributions, including public works and Linden Homes. Open to all Second Life residents, the event spotlights the Bay City Alliance commitment to fostering community since 2008. For involvement inquiries, Marianne McCann is the go-to contact. Art enthusiasts are treated to two compelling exhibitions, Noah Cloud's intimate photo poetry at Galleria Sake Yume Michi and Frank Atiso's Shadows of Strength at the Nitro Globus Roof Gallery Annex. Cloud, a multi-talented artist known for his seasonal landscapes at Ren, presents an harmonious brand blend of photography and poetry with images complemented by freeform haiku in Japanese and English. Meanwhile, Letiso, a DJ and founder of Art Corner, offers a rare glimpse into the male form through chiaroscuro grayscale photography, capturing the intricate dance between light and shadow. Both exhibitions, distinct in their artistic dialogue, invite viewers to immerse themselves in the nuanced interplay of visual and emotional storytelling until February 2024. Evergarden Equestrian extends an invitation to horseback riding enthusiasts for its delightful weekly trail rides. Join the community every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Second Life Time and Sunday at 11 a.m. Second Life Time for a chance to traverse through various sims, 
enjoying the company of fellow writers. Each journey promises a new theme for a continuously engaging experience. Departing from Evergarden Equestrian, writers of all skill levels can look forward to discovering the diverse landscape of Second Life, all while fostering fellowship within the equestrian world. Bay City Studios has released the second episode of their Isekai Machinima series, Namara, on YouTube. In this installment, Rami and Invictus go camping. The Night Stalkers have a close encounter, and the Dre Lilith crew prepares for pickup. Created within the virtual landscape of Second Life, the series offers viewers an immersive escape into the realm where magic is the norm, and every turn holds a secret. Fans of the genre can expect visually engaging adventures as the story unfolds. Get ready for a high-energy Thursday night at Cheertopia Shrock Sky Tower Stadium, beginning at 6 p.m. as the Second Life Cheerleader Squad takes center stage. The event is a must-see for everyone, from die-hard cheer fans to those new to the scene looking to experience the infectious spirit. Anticipate a spectacle of enthusiasm and skillful routines that will captivate and energize the audience. Don't miss this unforgettable evening of acrobatic cheer, feats, and lively vibes. The Second Life Video Creators Group has announced its January winners across various categories, celebrating the finest in virtual filmmaking and content creation. Lowly Winnie's You and Me clinched the best short form video. Enchante Dance Studios' rendition of Halsey Gasoline took home the best long-form honor. KL Productions' Vogue was highlighted among the best vlog nominees. Sabina Valeska's collaboration with May Love and Michael VR on Crush earned the Best Music Video Award. And Quincy Robbins' Queenie's first day at Cypress Academy, returning to New Chapters Episode 2, was recognized as the Best Short Film. Creators looking to compete in future rounds are encouraged to submit their work for consideration. Second Life's 2024 Valentine's Day is set to be a virtual love fest, with Lyndon Nab announcing a series of romantic events. The Isle of You beckons with its forest walks, cuddle-ready nooks, and swan boat rides across four picturesque regions. Gift-giving is made easy at the Love Pavilion, offering a range of virtual tokens of affection, like heart-shaped balloons and roses. For a whimsical journey, the Love Train trolleys will depart from the Welcome Hub, culminating in the Dunk and Hug a Linden or Mole event for some affectionate splashing on February 14th. Those seeking further romance can explore new regions listed under the Romance category of the Destination Guide, promising a season filled with digital love and connection. The Black Tulip Art Gallery is gearing up to launch a captivating new exhibition titled Women About Women, with an opening party set for Sunday, February 18th from 1 to 3 p.m. This innovative showcase will feature the diverse artistic expressions of Talula Winterwolf, Amanda T. Tamatsui, Milena Carbone, Maria Farasco, Danny Thor, Ipathia Pickens, Curly Adamans Adamski, Magda, Sila Riadra, and Ilira Chardin, celebrating the unique perspectives and narratives about women. Music for the opening event will be provided by DJ Chaos Republic, promising an immersive atmosphere. Details for the event stamp will be announced in the Gazette as the exhibition date approaches, inviting art enthusiasts to witness this powerful display of creativity and community. And now for Cat's Picks of the Week. Shine on my shoulders. 
And now, the theme for next week's party. This is Steve Martin reporting for KPUX 105.3, Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. Today is Groundhog Day, and throngs of happy revelers have assembled here to await the emergence of Phil from his burrow. If he sees his shadow, that means there will be six more weeks of winter, and Phil will return to his den to resume hibernation. It's dawn, and there is something stirring in the little house that the good people of Punxsutawney have built for their mascot. 
we can hear a rumbling sound and see the earth heaving up a bit around the groundhog house. Something has gone horribly wrong. A monstrous beast has emerged from the burrow. It's a giant groundhog. He's as tall as a 30-story building. Professor, can you help us understand what is happening here? Phil the groundhog has mutated or perhaps evolved during his sleep phase. This has been observed many times in Japan, affecting primarily reptilian and insect life. But we have never seen this occur before with a mammal such as a groundhog. Phil is destroying the town, ripping buildings open with his claws and snatching aircraft out of the sky with his teeth. The National Guard has been called out, but it is to no avail. An entire tank corps has been wiped out by a wall of flames. Neither man nor his machines are able to stop this creature. It seems that Punxsutawney has no line of defense. I'm saying a prayer, Professor. A prayer for the whole world. Attacking this creature is the wrong approach. The groundhog should not be destroyed. He should be studied. I suggest that he was angered by seeing his shadow and experienced discontent over the prospects of spending an additional six weeks in hibernation, delaying his participation in the mating season. After a day of horror and destruction, night has fallen. No longer seeing his shadow, the giant groundhog has returned to his burrow deep in the earth. For the living, the horror of today is over. The only thought left is the paralyzing fear that it could happen again next year. The menace was gone, but the whole world fears the return of... Groundhogzilla! Next week... Saturday, February 3rd, 7 to 10 p.m. SL time, Drama Libre explores the dark side of Punk Satoni Phil. DJ Magdalena Kamenev will employ her musical superpowers to soothe the savage beast and defeat the fearsome Groundhog Zilla. Thank you for watching ATG Entertainment Weekly. Live the Grid Experience!